yeah, that's a interesting take. Um, I think art and NFTs are two separate topics. Um, the the ability to convert art using NFTs is the ability to create a um, a tracking device essentially. So you could see who the actual owner is. You could see the transaction history of the piece of, piece of art. So the the NFT that lives in the blockchain is immutable. So it kind of prevents fraud um, or stolen items. Like uh, it happens all the time. People steal pieces of art and then resell it on the black market. So um, transferring art into an NFT allows you to kind of have this level of security. Um, you could see who owns uh, the projects and then you could also, it's an easier way to transfer the, the goods when sold. It, it kind of acts as a, a title, kind of like a car title when you interchange car titles when you're selling a car and buying a car. Um, that's kind of like the purpose for it. Um, in terms of it being detrimental to the environment, I, I don't necessarily think the NFT itself is detrimental to the environment. Maybe the practices of actually acquiring the NFT might be detrimental because when you buy the NFT, you're essentially, if, you're, you, if you have fiat cash, you're transferring your cash to crypto, which in turn, um, buying the crypto or the actual process of attaining the crypto has to be mined or staked. So you're using computing power. Um, and then that computing power is basically generated by different power sources. Um, fossil fuels or renewable energy, but if you go with the route of or the hopes that your crypto is being kind of generated from renewable energy, um, I don't think it is detrimental to the environment.